Hey everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve. I'm here at a bus transit center, and I think we all know what's gonna happen here. There is some construction, but there's also a beautiful little patch of woods back there, and I think that'll do just great. Um, they're eventually gonna put Edmonton's famous above ground subway um, right down the road out here. And we're all waiting with bated breath for that uh, anticipation. But in the meantime, it's a great spot to camp. Well, a 24 hour parking limit should do the job for us. I don't plan to be longer than that. Uh, there's these little drop off and leave spots called the kiss and ride, where you can kiss your loved one and then head off to work for the day. But uh, enough of that, let's get to business here. There is a good collection of services across the road. There's a pet store in there so I can pick up a treat for garbage on the way back. And there's bound to be a washroom in there as well. So, now the tricky part, sneak into the woods without being too obvious. Um, kind of looks like a bit of a, not a path, but a little bit of a cleared spot on this trail here. Okay. I think that's the way we're going in. This looks even better. Let's go. I thought about bringing my boots, um, but it's been quite warm lately and I thought the snow would have melted a bit. How wrong was I? Okay, perfect. Right on this uh, coyote trail <laughs> looks good to me. Uh, I'm gonna stomp the snow down a little bit and then get things set up. First little guy is this friend here. Well, got the camo all set up. I didn't uh, stretch it perfectly straight because people have mentioned, you know, horizontal line in the woods kind of stands out. So I got a little stick in there to kind of weigh it down in the wind. And of course I forgot my cot in the car. So we're gonna head back there. <laughs> uh... While I'm grabbing uh, the cot, I'm gonna get dinner started in here because it'll take a while cooking on one of these 12 volt plug-in um, Road Pro things. In Canada, they're Auto Trans brand, but uh, they're well known in the trucking industry. They come with these little pans. So, I'll try to cook something up in here. I'm not running it off the car battery because that would uh, drain this battery in a couple hours, I'm sure of it. Then I'd be stuck here, so. Uh, I brought my, this extra battery here. It's uh, like a lithium, um, deep cycle so that should run this for quite a few hours and I don't have wire strippers so we're just um, burning the plastic off the ends of this and uh, oh, that smells great um, I should be able to hook this up we're gonna be cooking in no time and this uh, it draws 15 amps so I'm making sure to have this plug-in receptacle thing that will accommodate the 15 amps. I've used one of these before, but not lately, so I forget if there's a light that actually tells me it's working or not. Nope. No light. So, I'll know if it's working if it heats up. And I'm just going to do one of these uh, nor sidekicky things because I'm kind of trying this out and I don't want to put raw meat in this thing. It says it'll take stuff up to like 300 degrees uh, Fahrenheit temperature, but I don't trust throwing in a raw chicken breast or anything. So, it's strange to be doing a meal part at this time of the video. I've got this thing um, creamy bacon carbonara. Obviously, not even remotely authentic. powder in there already with it. 
So, cup of milk, these things are all pre-measured, perfect. Cup of water, measure with this. Put in a little extra water because we're adding some mushrooms and chicken into this. And it's getting out, that's warm. Okay, that works. So, in you go. Some pre-cooked chicken. Oh, about a cubic inch of butter. A couple cubic inches. And mushrooms. Folded the edges up here a little bit because it's really close to overflowing and I got the feeling it's gonna. So close that right up and we'll be back in a few hours. Dinner's going, sun is setting, and I'm returning with cot in hand. And perfect, a little bit of a break in traffic. Away we go. That'll do. It's been a balmy zero Celsius, or uh, 32 Fahrenheit today. But that's going down tonight to minus 10 Celsius, around 16 Fahrenheit, if I recall correctly. So I got old yeller, big yellow sleeping bag, uh, which is also why I couldn't quite fit the cot all into here. But it does pack up pretty good. And I brought the sleeping pad too. So that'll give me some extra insulation. Using a Thermarest Neo Air. Um, I splurged when I got this, just because it packs up the size of a softball though. And with Space Premium on the Stealth Camping, there's uh, really no getting around the fact you need some small gear. I had that cheater in a flaky ball thing that goes on here, but uh, that is finally ran out of batteries after five, six uses. So, do it the old fashioned way. Comes with this inflation bag. Now that I've tried both um, that inflation bag and the uh, Neo Air little electric pump ball thing, I love that pump. Uh, it's probably quicker than using that, that pump bag to, to fill this thing with air. And it's the size of a pump, it's tiny. Technology, hey. So, I did have with me that little bivy tent, the camel one, but it's really good for sleeping in, except sitting around in the evening, not so good. Uh, with the cot, I can sit down, uh, keep an eye out about what's going on. Um, I'd hate to be just sitting in that tent. It gives me a chance to enjoy what is step three today, normally step two. Um, we've got the dinner taken care of, provided the car doesn't burst into flames. And, uh, cheers everybody. Now this is camping. Oh, 
well, this is a pretty good spot, I have to say. If, uh, if it was spring or summer, it'd be even better with some leaves on the trees for cover. Wouldn't be so cold, but there's the one sidewalk over there and it's pretty far, nobody can really see. Then the road right there, there's that hill berm type of thing. I can see the tops of the cars. They can't see me. There's no problems there. Um, the buses will stop running later, probably around midnight, one in the morning. And that's when the vehicle in the parking lot may stand out a little bit. So we will uh, see what happens there. I'm gonna keep a close eye on that, but yeah, I'm just trying to stay warm here, enjoying of course, a nice cold beer because it is cooled off quite a bit. And uh, I do feel for the folks that actually have to sleep outside in this weather and actually it gets much worse than this. So it's, uh, I count my blessings for sure. It's been a little bit here. I'm gonna go check on that food in the car, see how many cars are still in that parking lot. Definitely not many cars left here at this hour, and it's not even that late. It's only like seven. Ooh, it feels warm. Wow, that actually looks like it's working. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, great. Stir this up and give it a little more. I'm just gonna walk over and see if there's anything good in this transit center here. Not expecting anything really, but uh, could be a vending machine or something. Be nice. Well, there is a vending machine, water fountain. Uh, there's a washroom that seems to be pretty occupied. So, uh, not much to see in there, but it's good to know there's a warm place right there. I, I'm sure they lock it at night though, but uh, I'll be up early in the morning, I can guarantee you that. Let's see. Oh, ho, ho. that looks okay for something cooked in the back of a car. Yum. I think I'll dig in. I'm gonna do that right here. Um, this is definitely gonna spill if I try to walk this back through the woods. So. Plugged in. Okay. Wow. Well, it's really good. I was probably in there for like a mm, couple of hours. That's a bit much. The uh, seems a bit overdone, but still quite good. So, yeah, this thing works. Could have uh, probably done this in hour and a half, hour 15. Mm. Yeah, that recipe actually worked out pretty good. Maybe with a little less water in it. But yeah, this is uh, mm. quite acceptable parking lot grub. So while I'm here and before I duck back into the woods, I will give the shout outs uh, to the folks that have donated to the beer donations which goes to high quality items like this mm. Road Pro which will probably see a lot of use this would have amazing potential if you were on a road trip and you wanted to cook something up for stealth camping a battery would be pretty necessary for this there's probably more efficient things than this uh, little oven like uh, an air fryer or something that's on just for a shorter length of time. But, uh, mm, fantastic. Well, this was a pleasant surprise. I wanted to dig into this before any other restaurants across the street were closed, just in case. Mm. So, there is six vehicles in the parking lot right now. This is one of them. And I don't know if that's going to change here at any point tonight, but um, yeah, hopefully the windows don't get smashed out or anything. Um, let me just uh, indulge here for a little more. So 
so flavorful. Okay, with a tasty meal accomplished, it's back to the woods for me. Um, I grabbed out of the car this sleeping bag liner because it's promising to be a little cold today. And uh, yeah, things are winding down here pretty quickly at the uh, old transit center. Uh, there's reduced, uh, reduced frequencies of the buses right now. And what that means is the last of them will be pulling out of here in probably an hour or two. But uh, shouldn't be so much uh, traffic around here for sure. Haven't seen any of the transit police, which is very nice to see. And uh, yeah, here we go. They're doing some construction across the road there. So that'll make things a little noisy for sleeping, but that's okay. We can get through this, we've done worse. Before I go to bed, I gotta check the parking lot and just see what it looks like out there. There's not many buses, not many people, and I hope I'm not the only car out there. Coming up the hill here. Oh, great. Oh, great. I think I'm the only car in the parking lot right now. So, it's certainly time to hit the hay. No. Okay, now I think you can barely reach the camera. Shut off the flashlight. Good night, everybody. Oh, good morning. Just that moment where I don't want to get out of a nice warm sleeping bag, but I better. Um, didn't get busted. I have to admit, this seemed like a way better spot in the dark than it does in the light. First things first, I'm gonna get this bright yellow sleeping bag tucked away. Um, I can't imagine how many people probably saw me <laughs> right when I got out. There was a guy walking on the sidewalk and I realized, oh, this is a good spot in the spring probably, or at night, but once the sun's up, there's not a lot between me and uh, the sidewalk. up nothing left behind and uh, not even any garbage to pack out from other people so great hmm. 9 a.m. I had a big sleep I don't know, car's still there As usual, uh, my feet were a little cold. That's kind of normal for winter camping, regardless of uh, the weather or what I try to bring with me. Uh, so it's time to go get a scalding hot tea. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Right on. As soon as I'm defrosted here, I'm gonna put some uh, air in the tire. I never thought I'd live to see the day when it was $2 and the machine took a credit card, but um, here we are. So that was this week's video. Um, if you like this type of thing, please consider subscribing. Uh, the algorithm is a beast we'll never understand, but it seems to like subscribers, so that does help uh, for sure. And um, I'm still trying to plan out this week's, uh, the next video here. Uh, we're kind of stuck in the city for now because um, school bus, we're getting some repairs done. We finally got the parts we needed. So that'll be uh, coming in mm, probably tomorrow. And we, 
um, we'll be able to do some bus stuff, but in the meantime, um, yeah, still waiting for delivery of vehicle um, to replace this uh, Santa Fe. And that should probably be happening in, uh, well, uh, early March or late February. So we're kind of, uh, th this vehicle, I don't really want to take on the road. We, uh, we did replace the front end like last year or you know, year and a half ago and now it needs it again. It's kind of all over the place on the road and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of noise uh, coming from the front. And we did the rear end on the car last year. So um, it's been good, but I just have a bit of a policy about, uh, you know, 2008 vehicles on the number of front ends I'm gonna put on them. Uh, so it, it'll be good to have something reliable. So uh, uh, I've been renting cars for a lot of these trips and I'm not gonna do that anymore. It's, um, it, it's just silly. It's hard to extend them if we need to stay longer. And um, yeah, it adds up. I was kind of waiting for the car market to get better, but oh well. So um, that's that. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next week. Stay warm, stay stealthy.